Boom shakalaka, what's going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love with Susan Zhao, the COO and co-founder of Qlink. Hello, Susan. Hi. Hi, Randall. Hello, everybody. Hi. It is an absolute pleasure to be here with you to have to do this interview. So we're doing an interview today. We've got some news about Qlink to talk about. So for those people new to Qlink, could you just give them an overview? Tell them about Qlink. Q-Link is a very simple project, well, blockchain combined with networks. So we're trying to build the first decentralized network and powered by blockchain. So anything that is touched upon the network services, like uh, connected with Wi-Fi and the VPNs or bandwidth exchanges, so anything that will be, well, we would want to blockchain-like those services that people can contribute, the actual resources to providing services to the one in need. Yeah. One of the reasons that I like Qlink in particular is just because of the potential scope of this project. I mean, like, I know myself and most other people can't go the day without using their cell phone or their Wi-Fi. And exactly. so... Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I have to watch your YouTube every day. I can't, <laughs> I can't live without that. <laughs> You must be the one person watching. <laughs> well, the, I think how many subscribers you have? 30, 33K subscribers. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a king to have one of those t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get you one of these t-shirts. We are giving away the t-shirts every day for everyone who comments down in the comments. But, okay. so, so Qlink is a big ambitious project. And you're on the NEO blockchain. Why NEO? Okay. Um, the reason that we choose NEO, I think NEO is very developer friendly. Uh, and it has, uh, I mean, kind of like very complete tools to support developments. And the further down the road, it's uh, supporting the high TPS. Uh, um, mm -hmm. So this is something that we can quickly implement uh, the quick projects. And we already have one have one of the app um one Q running on the Neo, which is supporting the uh, the world first the VPN marketplace and the Wi Fi sharing. So I gotta talk more about the Winky later. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, so uh you are the chief operating officer of QLink. Mm -hmm. Um but you also have a bunch of other people on the team, including the CEO who used to work for the cell phone company I can't pronounce, who I, or... <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's actually, uh, he's, a, he's actually a one of our the, the chairman. He's, uh, we, our team, we kind of like operating very decentralized team, so as a foundation, mm -hmm. we don't have a CEO at the moment. It's like Neon doesn't have a CEO. Mm -hmm. uh, we are more like, uh, okay, we are the teams who, who representing this project and uh, we bring uh, we bring great benefits to our community and we try to operate in a, in the a form of a very community-wise way. So everyone who we encourage them, so actually the, the, web, the web decentralized VPN the server uh, I showed you, mm -hmm. so it's all set up by our community members. Okay. So the, those ones in the Miami, Vancouver, even in Turkey, so the set of the servers are put in there. So we're operating a very community-wide way, and uh, we haven't set up the corporate title. Uh, I mean, except me, because I have to take care of uh, some things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, well, I guess we can talk about the uh, win queue right now because I was watching the Neo Amsterdam meetup and I saw a presentation by Qlink about win queue. So let's show everyone what's up with win queue. Okay, win queue is uh, okay. I have to let's uh, let's jump around the start. Win uh, win queue is the app that's available on the Google Play. If you just type win queue um, and you land into the win queue page, you directly download it. And uh, it is, uh, as I said, a VPN marketplace and plus Wi Fi sharing. So, on the blockchain. So, what the difference is, is when you um, have VPN services, um, so if, for example, if you are using the BitTorrent and you want to download the movie, but you want to 
you don't want the other people to know your IP. Mm -hmm. So you're using with VPN services. And uh, the VPN server was set up by the company that operating the VPN server. Mm -hmm. And so they have set up server across the world. But differences is, as I mentioned before, those VPN servers are all set up by our community members all over the world. So we encourage everyone to participate into the process to share its networking resources to the ones that in need. So uh, obviously some markets like Ukraine, Iran, uh, even my home country, China, have this uh, censorship. But mm -hmm. people are very uh, depends on the VPN to get across the world to get more information about what is happening around them. And uh, this is a uh, this is place that so we provide the services. Like the first one is set up with the name Donald Trump. And <laughs> well obviously it hasn't been set up by by the, by the Mr. President. Mm -hmm. We go into the page and um, we just simply connect connect. And it was read the information on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just give them a second. And now it's connected. Nice. And once it's connected, you have a little key. It won't be too blurry to see. You have a little key on the top of the box. And it means your, your IP address is protected. <laughs> let's just I have see. a trial to watch, watch your video <laughs> through our VPN. I know that guy. So this is how people in Ukraine, Iran can reach out to you. Oh, that's how. <laughs> so I saw I saw when it was connecting down on the bottom, it said, do you want to spend 1.4 Q-Link to connect? So how is Q-Link tokens going to work in the ecosystem? That's a, that's a great question. So um, this is a paid service. Obviously, that uh, people uh, wish to be paid by providing the VPN service. So how it works is, uh, is the way you set up the VPN. Here's a small contract, and which you can request mm -hmm. how much token you want to be paid by connection. Um, and uh, this oh, as it's actually opens a lot of uh, possibilities. So for the people like. Uh, like me, I used to subscribe to the VPN, but uh, I don't use that uh, 27. So when I, I'm not using my VPN, I actually can share my account to through WinQ, and other people just can get my account using my VPN without knowing what the username and the password. So this is this will be the second step of our app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really cool. So WinQ is available now on the Google Play Store. And it's available now. And is this this is a test version or this is a real version of it? This is a real version. And the test version on the iOS is uh, internal testing. So I'm still try trying to test it. It works on the same thing. But uh, iOS uh, is, uh, is a little bit harder in terms of uh, it's very restricted to the developer. Uh, we are working on the specifics, but uh, I, I, I think it's still going to be available very soon. That's really exciting. So anyone can go out and get VPNs. Because there are a couple other projects that were out there. Like I remember Mysterium was a decentralized VPN, but it sounds like you guys were the first people to really bring it to the market. Yeah, and uh, I'm very excited as well. And uh, we... We spent quite a lot of time and, uh, with the community just test out the product. It's actually going through um, um, 20 fifth upgrades since we launched that VP. So every week we'll have a new release. So we'll just keep updating and uh, get user feedback, uh, get people in the community help us set up VPN. So the great news is whoever set up VPN, oh, by the way, I haven't said that, it's running on the Neo testnet right now. But we reward the people who setting up the VPN. Well, whatever they earn, we will pay them in the real QLC. Oh. So um, yeah, it's helping helping the users adopting to the green model a bit at the same time and teaching them how to use the crypto policies uh, and uh, encourage people to set up VPN 
uh, one of the community member actually said when he set up with him about I think two weeks ago, and his wallet is like a cashier <laughs> keeps running <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny comment. Uh, That's awesome. That's a really great way for people who to make money who just have extra bandwidth to use. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. So there are a couple other things that I, I mean, when I was researching for this interview, a couple other things about Q-Link that I thought were very exciting. You mind if we talk about them? Maybe. Okay. okay. So the first is the, the base station mining. Now I know it's kind of early in terms of this coming out, but I saw a whole bunch of that and that seemed really exciting. Can you talk about that for a little bit? Yeah. Base station mining. Um, so this we have the, we have developed into the whole concept that because you know, mining is very sensitive subject uh, in some countries, uh, for example like China, uh, used to subject to regulation shutting down the Bitcoin mining. Mm. Uh, so anything about mining could be very sensitive uh, in China. Um, so the the concept about the base station will be. Uh, we so we have a lot of devices like computer, cell phones, uh, supporting day-to-day -day, uh, communication, and uh, we also have a home router at home who can supporting the Wi-Fi coverage stuff like that. So we want to turn the home router into a full node on the QLC chain. So uh, you don't have to manage the VPN sharing or Wi-Fi sharing. Mm -hmm. The router will manage by itself. At the same time, it will it will be um, contributing to the network uh, as a, or possibly as a part of a decentralized firewall, and possibly will providing the uh, name resolution for the hush ID, something like that. So it will be uh, kind of like uh, the idea to provide the base station router and uh, the blockchain services uh, around the network network industry at the turn uh, your actual resources to a part of the uh, contribution to the overall uh, community so uh, about the mining so i, I think uh, it will be very country specific uh depends on the uh, we i mean uh, does the QLC for the public chain? Does the QLC has to be mined, or we we can support all the points? Um, and we'll see how the regulation goes and mm -hmm. uh, the control terms go that well. Okay, yeah. So that's something to see in the future. Um, some others. Okay, so let's talk about the rebrand going on. Can we? Tell me about this. Yes. Uh, rebranding was very exciting because uh, we have been running almost for a year and uh, we have a lot of support documents from us. But I think now it's uh, on the stage that to have uh, QLink's originality to uh, originality build out to demonstrate to the community that we have the capability to build uh, something about the blockchain and the network. And, uh, and this is the killing chain. Uh, the reason killing chain is very important because I think it is the first of projects that uh, based the idea of uh, a blockchain and a network. And what not, uh, what not purely disruptive the network industry, but we are providing the complementary services that could be very easily adopt, commercially used uh, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So the, um, the the Q-Link used to be a brand that uh, really focused on Wi-Fi sharing and VPN marketplaces. Yes, we already built that, and we named that for the point Q, which will be uh, still going to adopt the users. But now, since we have the public chain, we want to build our practice around, around the public chain brand, which is the QLC chain. So as mentioned uh, in the previous uh, the white paper, uh, QLC chain will be a public ledger to record all the network services. So the view, the uh, the QRC chain uh, is very ambitious. Uh, what we want to do is we want to effectively, uh, if you think about uh, what we have right now, Ethereum is uh, decentralized computing 
uh, Bitcoin is decentralized computing as well. And you have all the content uh, applications that are running on the top. And, uh, and uh, there's other ones for IPFS. And uh, we think it's very innovative because it actually uh, changed the way that we will search content uh, through the web. And people, all the content will be, have a hush ID and we are not probably one using the IP address rather than the hush ID to get that content. But when you have the decentralized content, decentralized computing, and how can you not have a decentralized network? Mm -hmm. So you need a decentralized network to fully support a decentralized, uh, uh, decentralized order for the decentralized protocol. That's why we have uh, decentralized network services that focus only on uh, the lower layer, layer um, and the the technology we designed to, to support is a um, block lattice plus a small contract. Block lattice has been used by Nano, which is uh, up running for two years already. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's proved um, quite successful with, I think, about 7,000 TPS uh, with no more than uh, 700 nodes. So, but Nano wouldn't do small contract. And so we want to implement smart contract with uh, block lattice, which we think is very light technology uh, for blockchain and fully uh, scalable in the future. Um, and uh, and this, so and at the same time, we're going to review uh, in this uh, system, which is only supporting a CAM system in, right now, but we're going to add the blockchain part, which can be support private key and public key. And uh, I mean, this is kind of like an overview of what we want to do for the public chain and mm. we, then, we uh, the ambition we want to, uh, we want to have in the, in the down the line, maybe in the two years, what we want to build and how this network industry could be fully supported. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And you beat me to the punch there with the block lattice too, because I saw that and I was like, ooh, that's really interesting. And then also the Shannon consensus and then, which yeah. I'm not, I don't exactly understand what that is. And <laughs> Shadow consensus uh, is sounds very complicated. It actually took me quite a few days to understand what it is. Um, so um, it's very specific for the network um, because uh, during the network transmission, 80% uh, of transmission was done by 20% of nodes. Mm -hmm. And if you think about the Concentration level is actually um, much larger than what we expected. So, how you can decentralize this kind of natural tendency of the network? Mm -hmm. uh, one, of the, one of the innovation or one of the originality that we brought out is uh, we need to separate the working nodes and the ledger nodes. So, the trans transmission nodes are only in charge of. And the legend notes will be have the power to record what the transmission notes has done. So we separate the role of um, of work worker who are working and accountant who are keeping the record. That will keep the independence of uh, transmission. So um, because of for big companies like Google, Amazon, and even AT and T have a huge bandwidth. Uh, they can what the, the problem is. Uh, they can transmit. Uh, they can provide you services. At the same time, they will provide you bill, and they, you can't trust whether bill is true. So, for example, if I'm uh, uh, traveling to the U.S., I'm roaming every day. But do I actually use that much of data? The uh, AT&T claim probably not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And AT&T wouldn't tell me either. So we need a third party, which is ledger notes. To keep a record how much AT&T has provided for us. So this is a basic concept of uh, Shannon consensus. Oh, cool. And um, and uh, we are on a stage to simulate and validate the consensus with the most public policy in the US. So uh, ha I can't tell the name yet. Uh, the research is still uh, at the confidential stage, and uh, I would be able to share more once we have consensus on it. Okay. Okay. That sounds cool. Well, we'll keep our ear, our ears peeled for that. But um, I guess a couple other questions. So one, 
in terms of like the rebrand, this isn't a rebrand in like a typical type of rebrand where you change the name and logo, correct? This is just this is just introducing QLC chain. Oh, uh, we will change our name and logo, sure. Okay. So, uh, and we we need to kiss goodbye to Q Link and uh, raise the new new era of the QLC chain. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And then the other really thing, awkward. yeah, definitely. <laughs> the other thing with that is, so you're working with on chain to build QLC chain, correct? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're still talking to them because the on-chain has a great cross-chain uh, ecosystem. Uh, I think a lot of uh, user cases could be easily adopted. So, uh, especially on on-chain's uh, account system. So, we want to see how our infrastructure can be integrated uh, to them. So, having said that, I think the future of the blockchain will be really uh, blind. So just like what the internet we have right now, it won't be just one protocol, one company, and one uh, consensus take all. It will be uh, very specific to that user scenarios, uh, a very blind, just like a sandwich. Uh, you have a you have a layer, a lo layer, layer, uh, lower layer on the network, and probably it will support different uh, consensus and different protocols, and the middle layers. Uh, we use the uh, TPC IP protocols and uh, those things could be changed into some blockchain protocols but you want just a very blind and you have content layer that contents uh, supporting on content protocols content consensus so I think that's uh, the world in the future world that is cool so some very exciting times for QLC chain yeah me too I've been very excited as well I know a lot it's gonna be a lot of work but um, I'm still very excited. So, yeah. I mean, everything you've discussed has been pretty interesting so far. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with everyone on this interview? Okay. Um, still, I think um, overall, blockchain is still on a very early stage to a mass, mass adoption. And we saw a lot of uh, companies and uh, a lot of projects uh, have the problems at the uh, Finding a real life example. So we are lucky actually. We have this app up running already. So I highly encourage that everyone to join our community to download Wink View because we can make money out of that without trading crypto. You can make make money by your by your work, by sharing your resources, to be a part of the, the sharing community. Mm -hmm. And just a reminder for everyone, where can they go and download that? Google Play. Google Play Store. Google Play, and hopefully coming soon to iOS, to the Apple yeah. Store. Yeah. yeah. We're working on that. Awesome. But it has been an absolute pleasure talking with you for this interview, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, it's my pleasure as well. I was, uh... Oh, don't forget to give me a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I will send a t-shirt your way. That way you can wear it around the office and make everyone jealous. For everyone else who wants a t-shirt, comment down below and you could win one but always a pleasure to see you hopefully i'll see you again at some conference sometime soon all right have a good one peace, peace. <laughs>